They met at a Chinese restaurant of Nadia's choosing, this not being a class night. The family that used to run the place after arriving in the city following the Second World War and flourishing there for three generations had recently sold up and emigrated to Canada. But prices remained reasonable and the standard of food had not yet fallen. The dining area had darkened had a darkened opium den ambiance in contrast to other Chinese restaurants in the city. It was distinctively lit by what looked like candle-filled paper lanterns but were in fact plastic, illuminated by flame-shaped electronically flickering bulbs. After the assault on the stock exchange, Said and Nadia's city. It seemed the militants had changed strategy and grown in confidence, and instead of merely detonating a bomb here or orchestrating a shooting there, they began taking over and holding territory throughout the city, sometimes a building, sometimes an entire neighborhood, for hours usually, but on occasion, for days. How so many of them were arriving so quickly from their bastions in the hills remained a mystery, but the city was vast and sprawling and impossible to disconnect from the surrounding countryside. Besides, the militants were well known to have sympathizers within. Without warning, People began to rush out of the camp, and Said and Nadia heard a rumor that a new door out had been found, a door to Germany, and so they ran too, in the middle of the crowd initially, but striding swiftly so they were soon closer to the front. The crowd filled the narrow road and overflowed into the margins and stretched many hundreds of meters at its longest and Said wondered where they were going and then up ahead he saw they were approaching a hotel or resort of some kind. As they drew nearer he glimpsed a line of men in uniform blocking their way and he told Nadia and they were both frightened and started to slow down and allow people to pass them because they had seen in their city what happens when bullets are fired into an unarmed mass of people. But in the end, no bullets were fired. The uniformed men simply stopped the crowd and stood the ground and a few brave or desperate or enterprising souls tried to make it through running at high speed on either side where there were gaps but these few were caught and after an hour or so the crowd dispersed and most people headed back to camp. 